Hey, um, to whoever may need this nugget of encouragement, things will be alright, so quit your worry. I get it, the odds can stack back against the wall, but even consider it such, no, you'll stand tall. Sat and watch from the sidelines, one too many times. Wicked games to play, make me wanna lose my mind. Found solitude, knowing it'll be over soon. Ever need a boost, count on me for the one two. Trouble don't last when the tough get going. Baby, all we do is win, so show me my opponent. Adversity, doubt, stress, could care less, cause how we handle those like an S on our chest. Super proud of how we held it down on the way up. Can't wait for our day to ball, this is a layup. Nobody ever said this would be easy, but trust when I say that you got to believe. Looking for a breakthrough Trying our best to make do Every day is something new But change don't come, oh yes it's true Brighter days are straight And we're back Sweet Ugh I hope it does We had, like, there was a Windows update So we did that So hopefully it's better Usually Windows update fucks with the internet for some yeah, reason no. Hi guys Yeah, hi Bloop Hi Sarah Hi Revs Loser News Dork uh, hotel parking and Mads. What's up, my pretty beautiful people? I love you guys so much. Um, and I'm really sorry about everything. Oh, hi, Janet. How are you, beautiful? I just read all your emails. I'm so sorry. I haven't checked my, my email in a while. I, it was like September 28th. And everything you said, I agree with you. Yeah. I will be your muse, baby girl. Thank you, Michelle. You're going to love this. Yeah, I'm looking forward to my dinner. No. Oh, look at how Rev serves her her food, her dinner. When this was, I think I recorded this at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I don't know why she was referring to it as dinner because it was way too early to be dinner. But look how he serves her. It's so pathetic. It's very sweet if it was a different couple. But because it's them, it's gross. Those emails were uh, very intriguing and cool. He thinks it's hot. What's going on between us? Really hot. Hi, Andy, social okay. tendency. No, it's okay, Janet. I liked it. <laughs> you liked it? I liked it. I loved it. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to call out the person's name who just said whatever they said, but gross. What is this, some kind of like three-way gross co fantasy conversation that we don't know about and don't want to know about because I don't want to go and immediately vomit my lunch? So gross, though. Still gross. <laughs> What's the deal? <laughs> Would you like some shaky cheese on this? Sure. Okay. I wonder if Shani realizes that all the bone in her upper jaw where she has no teeth is going to start going away. It, it mel melts away and goes away. And that's why people, elderly people's face look so saggy because they don't have any teeth. So she's getting there. Every time she smiles, I see it even more. Amuse, that's high praise. I know, right? Oh, yeah. I'll be amused. I know, right? Okay. I'm very happy. I'm stressed. Why am I wearing my first alert while I'm sitting down? Why not? Why not? I have to get up to go to the bathroom and do other things, right? Oh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. She doesn't get up too, too many times. I mean, other than to go to the bathroom, what else does she have to get up for? And Jason's right there with a bucket under her behind in case anything falls out. <laughs> what am I eating? Pasta. Some kind of pasta. I don't know. It's microwavable. It was um, my wheels on my meals on wheels food. Oh, ravioli in a can sounds delicious. Not to say that there aren't a lot of homeless people who would kill for that, and I'm not trying to make it sound like that, but. That's for people who are truly starving, not people who have money and EBT, but you just used to waste it in one big shopping swoop and they have no money for the rest of the month. So um, that's why my meal, her, her meals on wheels thing cracks me up because it does not look appetizing for someone of such high caliber eating. I mean, with such, with such a, such a uh, cultured tongue. Um. My beautiful girls. Thank you, love. Oh my God, so young. Thank, Thank you. you. I taste a little bit. That's real good. Thank you. That's real good. You want... Hi, Brutally Lauren. You can save money by just getting a lanyard for your phone. This is not a phone. Um. 
So I have their lives, their more recent lives. And, and I might just go live on those because I'm not going to do a whole video if, if they go went live for four hours. I'm not sitting through that. But I love how she's showing off the life alert as if, as if anyone on this planet couldn't get one. She's really going to show us how disabled she is. It's so pathetic and it's so transparent of her. Like Jason with his, with his hospital bracelet on. Does he still have it on? Let's check. Oh, God, you shouldn't eat a lot of carbs. Well, they gave it to me, so I think I'm going to be okay. It's my first meal. Um, your meals on wheels deliveries don't know that you're a 600-pound woman, and they, they're not worried about your diet. They, there's too many people that they deliver to for them to know who needs and everything, aside from allergies and stuff like that. They don't know who what or who they're delivering to. Your doctors are the ones that know how morbidly obese you are, but they don't make the decisions on what you get from your um, feeding America thing. They're to two totally different entities. You do not. Of the day, actually. Hi, brutally Lauren. How are you? Yeah, I will. Crazy crap. It doesn't look portion controlled. It's a frozen meal. I was going to say the same thing. It, it does look large. It does look like a large portion. But, you know, it's shiny we're talking about. So are we surprised? She probably supersized her Meals on Wheels. <laughs> I'll take my supersized, my, my Meals on Wheels meal supersize, please. I'll be fine. Hi, Sabella. How are you? Oh, my goodness. Oh, this looks so good. It's hot, mm. That is so good. I love pills. Da -dum. I'm eating I a little love pasta. Pills. Da -dum. I love pills. Da -dum. Yes, I do. You took your pills? I need it. Now. All right. I need it now. Yeah. We're going to be fine in Jesus Christ's name. Yeah, he's got this. Brought to I you. haven't looked at the music list yet. I need to. This edition of the Rev and Shanty Show is brought to you by Bang Energy Drinks. Go get banged. Lauren says hi. What's up, Lauren? I endorse getting banged tonight. That's right. That's it. That's right. See, that's meant to be funny. You get it? Yeah. Too bad bang's been out for years, okay? Secondly, yes, that was the pun on words that they used. It wasn't meant to be funny. It's just ironic and catchy, and anything that comes out of your mouth isn't funny anyway, so you couldn't make anything funny because you are such a cornball. They're cheesy dad jokes. Yikes. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha Yeah. Mm. I got anti-drinking pills. Do you know that? That hydrozazine? Yep. Anti-drinking pills. Yes, it will help you from relapsing. That's awesome. Right? So all that hydro hydroxazine is is Benadryl. Um, I've been prescribed it for sleep before because there's no addictive qualities to it it's just it's just benadryl it just helps him calm down because you know how bad benadryl makes our kids sleepy when they give them we give them medicine or if we take benadryl that's all it is that's all that drug is it's nothing is not a bipolar med of any kind i got a huge bottle of them. helps it says take up to four times a day if you're feeling like you want to drink i guess mm. you take them four times a day Ooh, can I see the box of this? How many carbs is in this? Oh, shit, I threw the box. Of the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just need to know. Macaroni and beef comfort cravings. Tomato sauce with mozzarella cheese. Yeah, it's a lean cuisine. So. Carbs. Uh, carbs. Total carbohydrate. 39 grams. 14%. Uh, 39 carbs is a lot of carbs for one meal. Like, when I did keto after I had my... My youngest son and wanted to lose baby weight, which I did successfully. I didn't go over 20 carbs a day. She just had 39 in one sitting. Is that normal? To people out there who know much more about nutrition and stuff than I do, please correct me because that doesn't seem low fat or low carb at all, especially since it's only one meal. Your day. 39. Only 14%? Okay, let's see. 39 carbs. Let's see. Okay. I'll put diabetes, 39 carbs. Yeah, honey, how's you, how, we have to talk about your blood sugar. I know. Like, you know. 
Well, honey, we have to discuss your blood sugar. <laughs> you know? Oh, Some hey. adults with diabetes aim for 45 to 60 grams of carbs per meal. Okay. Okay, so it's only 35, so I'm in. I'm in a good level. For, for snap. Per yeah. snack is 15 to 20 grams. Right, right. So I'm right in the level of, you're, of well, you're per meal. You're very much on the low end yeah. for your meal. Yeah, it's actually lower than, you know, it's 39 carbs per grams meal. of carbs per meal. You're fine. So I'm fine, guys. It's lean cuisine. You know this, guys. It's good for you. Lean cuisine was what was delivered to you by Meals on Wheels? That seems odd to me. Does it not seem odd to anyone else? And lean cuisine is processed garbage. It's not healthy. It's nothing. It's just very low in calories, but not that low. I'm going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Meals for America. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be fine. 30, no, 30 carbs per snack. 15 to 30 per snack. 15 to 20. Oh, 15 to 20. Thank you. Snack. Yeah. But I don't eat snack. No, you don't. You don't eat snacks, Shannon? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me right now? Before you had meals, no one was cooking, and all you two ate was garbage. Junk food, garbage, and soda. Good job. I don't know what my blood reading is. You're fine. You have no symptoms of uh, being no. hypoglycemic or whatever. Uh -uh. Hyperglycemia. You have no symptoms of that at all. You're doing good. You're doing good. You're having Taco Bell for dinner, Janet? Mm. All right. I can't do Taco Bell anymore, man. Even their normal food makes me want to vomit. Like, the, the meatless. Like, their burritos, the bean burritos, and the, mm -hmm. and the potato tacos, they even make me sick. Like, I'm done with Taco Bell. No, I haven't gotten a blood monitor. The only thing I'd ever want to get from Taco Bell is a Baja Blast Zero. Because Baja Blast kicks ass. Mm -hmm. And diet soda is okay to drink. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's got excitotoxins that eat your brain, but it takes a long time to do that. God bless you, God Squad. How was your missionary trip? Mm. Where'd you go? That's awesome. What do I get from Meals on Wheels? Well, they gave me some cheese sticks, some some fruit cups, and, like, frozen meals. Yeah, I thought it was going to be, like, Meals on Wheels, where it's, no. like, tins of food. Yeah. It's not. No. So, tins of food. Yeah, it was going to be, like, a catered party, Jason. That's what it was going to be like. So, did Shani is the only one that got the Meals on Wheels and Rev didn't get it? Is that what I'm seeing? Because he's not eating or mentioning anything that he ate, ate from them. So... They give you food product from the store mm -hmm. which is cool too that's fine that's fine no i'm just eating is it fine you spoiled little prince guess what when you are truly starving and trust me i've met truly starving people they don't care if it's ravioli in a can they're just grateful for anything what they give me so i'm still vegetarian it's just it's yeah. got a little meat in it yeah she's i mean they gave her meat stuff the so. next trip, it won't be. No, it'll be diabetic and vegetarian. Exactly. Exactly. You'd be good. But for the initial food, they gave you just a variety of shit. Yeah. Not vegetarian. No. So, it's one week of not vegetarian. Why do you... Oh, God. How are you going to get through it? One week of eating free food because you're too lazy and too huge of a human being to have an actual job. So you have to get meals on wheels when there's no, no, nothing stopping you from actually working. And those people are all volunteers, too. So sad. You never share food with Rev? I do. She does all the time. She shares food with me constantly. And that's a, that's a single entree frozen meal. What the fuck is your deal? No, it's not vegetarian, but I'm eating what they give me because I don't want to waste food. She's not going to waste the food they gave her. That's insane. Oh my God, Miss Vegetarian is chowing down the meat. The, I didn't realize because I don't get uh, ravioli with meat in it. I get it with cheese in it. I was just raised like that. So uh, I didn't even realize she's chowing down on a meal with meat in it. Miss Vegetarian that she is. <laughs> of course she's not going to waste it. She's not going to waste a morsel of anything because her whole life is food. Go to that website and set up, set up your account. That's true. We got to do that. After we're done, yep. whatever today, we'll do it tonight. Way to stick to your guns. You're an idiot. You're just an idiot. They get no, they're correct. Because my best friend of, oh my God, 40 years um, is a vegan. And she's a vegan because of what she believes in. And you couldn't pay her to eat something that had meat or any meat, any animal products in it. You couldn't pay her. 
If she was starving, you couldn't get her to do it. She's that committed to it. So the point the point that person was making was, wow, stick to your guns. How pathetic. You'll eat anything that has any, any meat in it because you're a gavone. That's all. Don't get mad about it. It's the truth. Give her food. It's hard. We've been struggling with food money for fucking years now. That's because your weak, sad excuse of a man won't get a job and actually take care of the one person he has in his family. That's why you're rushing, you're struggling with food for years because you're too lazy to get get work. She's not gonna not eat what they give her. You're a fucking moron. And it's yummy. That's good. Yeah, I don't care. Lean cuisine is good. They make good meals. You want to look a gift horse in the mouth, moron? Just because you're a vegetarian? No, you pause the vegetarianism for a week. Because they gave you weeks full of good food. Mm -hmm. Then you go back to vegetarianism. Wow, isn't that fucking crazy? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts, isn't it? That you won't waste food. Wow. Why are you trying to trigger us anyway? You're guys? dumb. You're fucking dumb. Uh-huh. Well, that's right. Why are you trying to trigger us? Stop. Oh, look at me on the internet behind the keyboard. Oh. <laughs> No, I'm not. Ah! Retarded. <laughs> Banana. Banana. I don't think it's gonna mess me up. I've had... It's it's just like they barely they put anything in it. Really it. I know. It's mostly just macaroni. Mm-hmm. It's a very small amount of meat. And sauce. And delicious. Tastes great. Do you know that my Uncle Floyd... My Uncle Floyd, all right? He was a fucking, like, brain surgeon. Brilliant guy, okay? Floyd Davis, right? His favorite meals were Stouffer's and Lean Cuisine. And he could have got, like, gourmet food every day because he was a fucking brain surgeon, you get it? He chose to eat that stuff for some reason. I don't know why. Why don't you tell me about my own family? Because you guys know about my life better than I do. Um, I'm probably one of your biggest coverers, and I couldn't give a shit about your family less than I do. The only thing about your family that I feel is that I'm very sorry that you lost your mother to cancer because I now know how horrible that is. That's the only thing I know or care about your family. No one talks about your family. Nobody talks about either one of you. I don't know when you two are going to get it. You're not famous. You're infamous, and you do horrible things, and people like myself react to it. So nobody was telling you about your family. Why don't you sit down there, little man? Yum. I'm done. <laughs> You're gonna be mad at me for eating something that was given to me? I don't care. Shit, that's it, you know? They know better than yourself for what you should eat. Don't you get this? They're God. <laughs> no, right? Mm -hmm. I have these fleeting moments every once in a while where I feel bad for one of them. And at this moment, I feel bad for Shannon. Because if I had to live with some stunad who is making cartoon noises and spend all day and night with him, I would have ran a long time ago. A long time ago. Do you guys hear him in the background? <laughs> what is wrong with you, sir? What is it? When are we doing a science documentary? Uh, I know today we're doing one on aliens at eight. Because I love doing the aliens. It's very simple, folks. We just need a good camera. And then we'll be going to Centralia mm -hmm. and making a movie. Oh, you just need a really good camera? Are you Just like you didn't get your pew-pew that you wanted so badly, don't think that anyone's going to be buying you a camera. Don't. And if anyone does, they're going to have to deal with me. Because trust me, I'll find out who did it. Thank you, Sabella. It's not Meals on Wheels, it's Meals for America or something. I think so. What is it called? You see the box. Yeah, you have the box. I've seen the box. It's great. See the box. You can show them the box. Yeah. Meals America. Best home delivered meals. Get started. Do we call them? Yeah. That's not my number. 
Baby, I yeah. don't remember the number. One minute, guys, I'm gonna mute. You gonna do dishes? So, yeah, yeah. You download menu. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. You got a menu. I do have a menu. I think we have to call them. Hmm. Actually. Hmm. But they do have a menu. Okay. You gotta call them to, to do your menu. Yeah. Make sure it's vegetarian. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Well, they have, the, they have the number on the box. Yeah. So, what do you, they have to it's like five. Yeah. We'll do it, I'm sure they're on Saturday. No, they're open Monday and Friday, we can catch it early. We have so much to do Monday though. Oh, it's crushing. Uh, I don't know what doctor appointments or what you would have to do on Monday considering it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So I can't see many doctor offices being open because my kids' schools aren't. You want to try again? Monday, bro. Everything. Ah. This device. Jesus, God. You know what I mean, Jan? Look, I'm gonna, you said pray right now. We pray together. Amen. Then I went out to the kitchen and I talked to him direct. And boom, we got our internet money. And more. Why do I get free food? I'm Scott. disabled, and that's what they do to help people who are disabled. Oh my God. No, you're disabled because you're morbidly obese. That's the only reason you get any kind of anything, is because you are so morbidly obese you cannot take care of yourself. That's what the problem is. See, I'm a fascist Nazi. I already told you I'm with a nursing agency now. Yeah. I saw my nurse today. You see, I'm a fascist Nazi. I don't think disabled people should get shit, right? Give me up one in chat if you think disabled people should just be put on the road. <laughs> Oh no, I don't think that at all. I think that we should put a one in the chat if we don't think you, you two, deserve anything. It's you two we have a problem with, not everyone that's struggling to eat. We care about those people. We don't care about you two because you two are scumbags and scam artists. That's why you have the reputation you have. That's why no one believes anything that comes out of your mouths. Dr. Mengala. Yeah. Mengala. Mengala. Mm -hmm. So who's oh a bunch of people are putting one. Ah, oh, see? Oh, isn't that that's amazing, isn't it? I fully endorse the ideology of the people in Sodom and Gomorrah. You know? If you have problems, you should be put on the fucking street. Stop saying that shit. Okay? God, Jason. Your mouth is getting the best of you. Oh, you weren't aware? That's how your scumbag boyfriend talks to everybody all the time. And he wonders why people don't like him. And people make fun of him. Because he's such a lovely, lovely person that you decide to spend the rest of your life with. Good luck. Enjoy that. You just Now I take back my feeling sorry for you. Put your man in place before I do. I have to uh, take a walk. Yeah, you do. I'm going outside Yeah, you're being stupid. How do I put up with him? Yeah, most men act like dicks. That's how I put up with him. I've met my fair share of not nice men or not men that I would ever want any kind of relationship with, but to, you couldn't pay me to put up with that crap. That yelling and screaming and weird voice doing and just the noises he was making, goodbye. Go, go take a stroll, go take a walk. Go jump off a bridge. Go do whatever it is you want to do. Just go away, please. He's fine. <sighs> I'm chill out. Yeah, he needs a little time to himself. He needs a little revy time out. Because he's not going to keep acting like a freaking 13-year-old. That's ridiculous. Whatever character he thinks he's putting on, tell him he sucks at it. Oh, lovely Sabella. No, I don't have a test kit. But it's my blood sugar so low that I'm not worried about it, I guess. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Who are you talking to? Okay. He's gonna make a video. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Lizzie, I wanna see the Northern Lights too. Thank you, God Squad. Why are you worried if I have diabetes? Because I'm taking care of myself.
Yeah, guys, she's taking care of herself. Can't you tell? Can't you tell by that horrible meal she just put in her body and this disgusting, disgusting cigarette she just lit up? My fave runway tune. Um, probably I'm Too Sexy. I remember doing that on the runway. It was really funny. The catwalk, Shannon. You were a model. Now is that what is that what you're telling us? That you were a model. I, I would have paid good money to see that. <laughs> it's just fun song to walk the runway down. <laughs> I'm too sexy for my cat. Too sexy for my cat. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lizzie. I'd love to see the Northern Lights. I don't know if we can, cause like, it looks clear today. Maybe we will. I know how to test my blood. I've done it before. Um, I never worked with Isabella Rosalini. Where did you get that? <laughs> I said I, I, I love Isabella Rosalini. She's one of my favorite models, but I never did work with her. Oh, I'm sure you 100% said that. You just don't remember it because it was a lie and you don't remember your lies. That's why you get caught in them all the time. But I 100% believe that you did say that you worked with that model. And no, no, you never did. No, I don't look at my Instagram very much, Milky. I'm sorry. How do I like my nurse aid? I love them. This place is so nice and full of such nice women. Dumbasses make things up and everyone believes that. Yeah, I know. You look at music. No. Oh. Oh. Foodie got back to me. Oh, Foodie got back to you. Yeah. What a queen. I gave her stickers, so it's didn't. Hey there, guys. Hope you're well. Thanks for sharing, Rev. I didn't know you had issues with food before. I am not sure if Kuwait has those snacks. I need to check. I did have have them in Canada, and they are so good. Wishing you guys well. Oh, oh that's so sweet. I love you, Foodie. We love you, Foodie. We love you. And I'm rooting for you a billion percent with your weight loss. Yes. And bless a lot. Bless you guys. We love you. Milky, why do you want to do an interview with me, sweetheart? We don't do interviews. No, nah, Nick, he, doesn't, he hasn't sent a homoerotic love letter to Jason in a while. Who? Gary. <laughs> oh, I see. No, nah, that hasn't happened, you know. I'm looking forward to homoerotic stuff from G, you know. But uh, <laughs> unfortunately, it's just not the case, you know. No. He's not reaching out with the gayness. So, like, there's nothing no. I can do about that, you know. He's not texting women. God. I made a video, and I'm uploading it now. Ansia said Rev has been DMing her. Untrue. I'll think about it, Milky. Milk has a nice accent and it's hot. You should do the interview. I'll think about it. I don't like doing interviews because I always get railroaded in them and treated like shit. We definitely should do it because they have a sexy voice, you know. I mean, that's obvious. You should do the interview because they have a sexy voice. Duh. Jeez. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> There's nothing sexy about Shiny. She doesn't have a sexy voice and she doesn't want to do an interview because she doesn't want to be asked any questions that she refuses to answer, like ones about her children or why she faked breast cancer or any of the other things she lied about. She doesn't want to face her own reality and her own faults. She doesn't want to he face those, so she doesn't do them. Around. Jesus, he's not talking to Ansia. I don't have time to talk to Ansia. <laughs> Band topics? Well, my son's is one band topic I don't want to talk about because they deserve to have privacy in their life. And, um... Oh, did you give them privacy in their lives when you had them crying and screaming because one pulled the other one's underwear down and you talked all about it and your son William said, stop talking about me on the internet? You mean like that? No, you don't want to answer the questions of why and how you lost your children not what not about protecting them in any way no one would be stupid enough to believe that you have a motherly bone in your body you're the least maternal person i've ever met and you would do nothing to protect them from the, it being embarrassed nothing even you've, you've mortified those kids but things that are just rude and not true Rip. i'm not taking his meds thank you for that though um I haven't looked at the YMCA with my insurance. I need to. Mm -hmm. When I finally have my first pay money, uh -huh. we're going to go to the YMCA in Dunmore, 
and we're going to get you a membership, and you're going to start going in the pool. That's true. And while you're in the pool, I'll hang out with you for a little bit, and then I'll go to the gym. That'd be awesome. It's fun. It would be. Yeah. She, who was freaking out at, at Draven's today? Are we going to talk about Draven? We should. No, I'm not going to get a treadmill. What I want to get is one of those, um... Oh, God. I, oh, a spinning. The, does it, yeah, this, the things that you push down, like... Oh, yeah. That. That's what I was recommended in PT to get. I had a rowing machine, honey. Yeah. You know oh, Ancia was on Draven's talking shit and freaking oh, out. that's nice. God, she needs to get over this shit. Press my life alert? No. Oh, I, I just, this is actually serious. I want to thank Ansia for calling the Adult Protective Services. You lied about Shani, that she's a threat to me. But because of your call, all the things started happening. So actually, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, Ansia. Ansia. When are you going to get a Princess Peach pillow? Oh my god, yes! Princess Peach pillow, fuck yeah. Thank you, Milky. That's, that sounds fun. That's awesome. Do a tarot, read it, and do fun things. I like that. I just... Hey. I'm so sick of talking about my past and my past mistakes and stuff, and I'm just like, I really just want to move on with my life, you know? No, my, my insurance covers it, Lone is Dangerous. Great Jesus. Thank God. Yeah. I pray Jesus always. That's right, Nick. God does use the devil's work for good. You're going to get sick of home health care real soon, Shannon. Just trust me. And if you think that this is going to go on for the rest of your life... You're sadly, sadly mistaken because it doesn't work like that either. But if you're thanking Anja for getting you on home health aids, then yikes, what a pitiful life you live. Hey, man, God Squad. Nick has 50,000 terror attacks. <laughs> Hi, Vixen. Yeah, he's just going through a lot of stress. Yeah, he's going under a lot of stress because he realizes or he's starting to realize what the rest of his life looks like. And this is about as good as it's ever going to get. That's pretty depressing. That would, that would definitely send me into a tizzy of some kind. But unfortunately for Jason, that's only a him problem. I'd never be dumb enough to do something like what he did. Like spend $750,000 and not have a penny to show for it. Must be so, so sad. Just, like, Monday is just so many things to do that it's stressful. I bet. <laughs> I bet it's going to be really stressful when you go to all your appointments and the offices are closed because it's a national holiday and mostly everything is closed. <laughs> Can't wait for that to happen. I'm feeling great. Why don't you sit down with when, us? I, when I said those things, it was literally showing a mirror to you. They, you guys are saying that stuff, not me. Saying what stuff? Like, you think that I talk about you in my everyday life? No, only when I'm making a video and only when I'm talking to someone in my chat. And we're not saying anything that isn't true. Sorry if you don't like it, but the truth is the truth and it doesn't change. I think it's pitiful. That Shani's so big that she won't do anything to help herself and gets a home health aid. I think that's pathetic. And you should too, Jason. You should, you should find that pathetic as well. What's happening Monday? A lot of stuff. Just things to do with his work. Things to do with talking to other, going and talking to other people. It's just a lot. Yeah, you notice how you don't have one real answer? That's because it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Remember that, Shannon, in school? I have a dream. That's Monday. Everyone is off. You just lied. There's no job. He's not running around doing things for his job. Everything's closed, you stu nods. But keep lying. Keep lying. Don't want to get into it. It's private matters. Um... No, it's not private matters. It's lies that you haven't thought of yet. You don't, and you were just put on the spot. So it's just more bullshit out of the two of you. What a shocker. I'm so surprised. You two are such liars. The dude said he wants to apologize to you for calling his stream yesterday hilarious. Okay. Right, 
I want to grow salad greens, too. That would be fun. Oh, enjoy your haunted house! I delete it because it was inappropriate what he was saying, Golden Mike. Am I mistaken or is Rev on live right now talking about G-Man? Because if that is an obsession, I don't know what is. Get over it. Why, why, why are you here? Well, oh, BPD. Well, uh, how do you know this exactly? Would you, would you like to talk to him about this? Oh, okay. What's up? Who, camel toe? I'm. What am I taking advantage of exactly, other than things I need? I think you're just mind your own business, man. I'm doing things that are best for me. So what? Uh huh. And? What a fucking asshole. I'm. I'm not taking advantage of public services. They were offered to me, and I took them. Through my nursing agency. Yes. Yes, I'm in. An, I'm being worked with a nursing agency. Yes, because I'm disabled. Yeah, because you can do sit-ups and be disabled. My problem is my legs, not my stomach, not my core, and I do sit-ups during my PTs. Whoever this caller is is great and spot on, and I am going to do some research into exactly what she's talking about because he's right. She's a liar. It, what she says doesn't make sense. What nursing agency did you get? Why is everything so secretive? Usually because she's lying. Well, I'm sorry people are jealous of this stuff, but this is the stuff that was provided for me. Obviously they are if they want to have these services and they don't get them. How am I taking advantage of something when it was offered to me and I took it? No, it was offered to me by my nursing agency. Well, why don't you Google what a nursing agency is? I don't know what a nursing agency is. <laughs> uh, it's a place where nursing agencies or nurses and, and people who do home health care go to people's houses and take care of them and their needs. This dude is an idiot. He's fucking dumb as shit. There are nursing agencies in my town that come here. What? What makes you think I'm faking anything, dude? What proof do you have? Uh huh. And I've always talked about my mental health. How do I fake it by talking about it? That's not proof at all. That's that sounds stupid. I can cheat on my husband. What the fuck are you talking about? No, I didn't. I was. You're stupid. You don't understand. My marriage was already broken when I started talking to Jason. Yeah. I know. I'm not going to take responsibility for lies, dude. Well, if I did, I did. That was an accident. Uh huh. Yeah, and why don't you go to, why don't you go and call an investigator and we can show the investigator our paperwork and, and then, you, you know, you, you don't have to worry about us anymore. Woo! Dude, are you 
okay, man, what are you on? Yeah, dude, you're like going to a perfect stranger, calling them up, and telling them that they're lying about their own life. He can do whatever he fucking wants to do and act however he wants to do. Dude, you can't control us. Bye. Oh, I have to get my hands on that phone number and I have to go and call them and someone has to clip it for me so I have it forever because, boy, do I have a lot, a lot that I could say to them. Now, that number is going to be blocked. Oh, yes. Apparently, he lives in Oregon, so... Wow. Have a nice day, sir, you fucking moron. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving weekend to the Canucks. Yeah. Agreed. I love me Can Canadians, my fellow brothers. Canadians rock. And sisters. I don't know who's harassing us on the phone. Some dude from Oregon saying we're faking everything that's going on with us. That was an interesting call. My God. They say this stuff and they don't even prove it. Your videos prove it. Why? You saw a video and you saw me talking to Rev in a sexual way and you assume it's when I was married? Um, we saw all the, we saw you do all of the things that we accuse you of. I don't accuse you of anything I didn't see you do with my own two eyes, Shannon. Nothing. I don't make anything up. I don't make things up to make my videos more interesting. Everything that I say you did, I watched you do. And that goes for everyone else. Hello? Dumb shits. Anyway. <laughs> That was an interesting phone call. That was. He starts off by saying, oh, you know, you, you know, Carrie, she's a really nice woman. And then he just asked, so how are you doing? Like, why do you care? Who are you? I know. What's the Navy game? I don't know. He's dumb, though. Oh, so it was after you and Chris broke up. Correct. Yes. Me and Jason talk like you and me are talking back in the past. Are you going to say what we're doing right now, talking on a live chat, we're cheating with each other? Because <laughs> that's what me and him did when I was married with Chris. Yeah. He's talking chat. <laughs> that's right. We had a video chat like once, and Chris was there. I was talking to Chris mainly. You were in the background. Yeah, and that wasn't even a video chat. We didn't have our cams on. We just had audio. And I saw yeah. your picture, and I was like, wow, you're pretty, Shannon. I didn't realize that. And Chris was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. So, Jason, you mean to tell me that you told another woman who was married, married with two children, that she was attractive, Mr. Christian? Oh, I don't think that's allowed. I don't think the Bible says hit on other people's wives, Rev. Looks like you did a little bit more sinning than we know about. And if you started with, oh, Shani, I think you're pretty, don't think we're dumb enough to think you two didn't continue talking after that the same exact way. You 100% cheated on Chris with Rev. You've said it online. Remember the phone, the phone fun times you two had while Chris was sleeping next to you probably? It was, man. That's too bad you Thank up. you, Milky. Him so fast. I know. I'm just, I'm done with arguing with someone who can't listen to reason. I know. It's sad. That's some good content, though. Mm-hmm. People love shit like that. I don't know who it was. We just got a text from someone. So it's probably an idiot. Hi. Hi. Question mark. This is what happens when you're F-list celebrities. I know, right? <laughs> Really this is what happens when you're F-list celebrities. You're not even a Z-list celebrity. Trust me, if I asked any neighbor on my block if they knew who you were, they wouldn't. Nobody knows you except the people who've watched your antics over the years. You're not a celebrity of any kind and you never will be. And that if you're going to go with the Shane Dawson thing again, I'm going to have to just lose my mind because you were just shown with a whole bunch of other people who bought the same product. That's it. Yes. Pretty soon we'll have new numbers that no one is going to know. No one is going to know our number. Nope. With, with new phones. Exactly. Finally. My God. Again. Will I move to Canada if Trump wins? He's not going to win. No way. There is no chance in hell that Trump's going to win. Zero chance. I, I say zero chance he's going to win. None. You two were definitely together in former lives. We know. Oh, uh, most likely. Yeah, we know. Yeah. 
So you believe that you get this time on this planet and then when you leave this earth, you either go to heaven or hell, but you also believe that you knew each other in a past life? You want to make that make sense there, Mr. and Mrs. Christianity? Matt, Shelly was trying to have brother husbands, but Rev stole her away. Brother husbands? <laughs> That's interesting. No, that was never discussed. No. I barely talked to Shani. She was too busy. I was being a mom. I was talking almost 24 hours a day with my co-host on Revelation News, Philip Kirshner. This is, come on, Rebbies, you're my hero, okay? What the flip, bro? You gotta get better heroes if it's me. <laughs> Did you ever know that you're my hero? Oh, Jesus, take the damn wheel. You're everything I wish that I could be. Oh, and I, I could fly higher than an eagle. You are the wind beneath my wings. That's right. The movie <laughs> Beaches always brought me to tears. The mother dies of cancer. Hi, Swore. How are you? I have Beaches. I love that movie. It's right. Very rough, though. <laughs> oh, wow. That was one of, that was a call. That was a weird call, man. Wow. I'm doing good, hon. Rev, I was teaching this communist children about you and Christ, and the missionary trip was very successful. That's awesome, dude. God bless you. You know, Marxism is of God, but see, <laughs> athe atheists promote it. Shani, remember crying and drinking over Rev, ignoring you on the back porch of your evil parents' house? Yes. Oh, man. I think I remember that video. I think I did. And then you came in my room and you said, honey. All you need is Jesus. Honey. Yeah. And then you blocked me. Yeah. I said, all you need is Jesus. And you blocked me. I was so mad at you. Well, I get it, because there are times you need more than Jesus. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't need Jesus. I need a friend. Oh, no, uh, someone's calling again. Oh, man, we should answer it. All right. What's the deal? <laughs> Welcome to the Rev and Shani Show. How are you? Okay. What's the deal? I haven't. I haven't had much of a chance to play it, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Got a lot going on, bro. A lot of a lot of things going on. You know how that's like. You know how that's like, brother. Uh huh. So far, it's a with an alien. Some days. Uh, I I think I, I kind of feel like I'm talking to. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but I see that Reb just posted, so I'm gonna go record that and react to that, and then I'll get be I'll be able to put two videos up today, hopefully. But I'm gonna go record that because that's far more interesting than this will ever be. Um, these two are as boring as can be. And the fact that they think that this is a show is hilarious because it's so, like, there's nothing except their obnoxiousness to really cover because they're such horrible people. But anyway, um, please hit the like on your way out if you enjoyed this. It really helps my channel a lot. And um, I have a drop-off next Saturday at the Helping Hands Mission. If anybody wants to donate to that, um, please reach out to me on Instagram. Or you can um, send me money. But I hate asking people to send money because eh. um, I just don't like it. If I, try, I mean, I, w I will take it and I will give you a receipt of whatever I purchase with your money always. But I know people would rather send stuff. So there's a ton of stuff you guys can send me if you're up to it or would like to donate. Um, I really, really need toothbrushes badly. I just bought a ton, and last weekend I went out and dropped off, and sure enough, we're out again. So um, a lot of toothbrushes and a lot of those mini toothpastes are very, very high demand right now. So look at me. I, even, I got so bored of this, I flipped it over. <laughs> Anyway, lovies, let me go let me go uh, record the videos and uh, get those started for you. But I love you guys and um, thank you for all of your your condolences about my mother. You're all extremely sweet and she would have she would have felt so special that so many people that didn't know her cared enough about her to say that they were sorry. And that means a lot to me and that's what makes you guys the best audience. I think anyone else has because I never have problems. And if I do, they're very minimal. Nothing I can't handle. 
You guys are very, very good to me, and I am very, very lucky to have all of you. And don't think a day goes by that I am not grateful for every single one of you that listen to my scratchy, sick voice. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. I'm coming back with another video. Unless we do a live and watch it together. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I'll be back. Love you guys. Hey, uh, to whoever may need this nugget of encouragement.